everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with a lovely surprise which is Regency Marketplace Jane Austen Box. This is not sponsored by them, although I would love to be in the future, possibly. Give me an email. But I have grown to truly love these boxes. All of the items included are really great quality, really highly thoughtful, and just a lot of fun. They are a US-based company and the boxes come out once a quarter or once a season and international shipping is back. So I have linked their website down below. They now not only ship to the US but also Canada, Europe, Australia, and possibly other places in the world as well. You can purchase an individual box, you can purchase a subscription, or if you're interested in just one or two of the items, you can buy those individual items from this box and from their previous boxes off of their website as well. I am especially excited for this month's box because the theme is, oh, who could ever be tired of Bath? For those of you who don't know, I lived and studied in Bath longer ago than I would like to think about, but it is still my second home, hence why I'm wearing my Bath rugby shirt today. I'm so excited to see what they've put in here. I think there could be bath salts in here because they smell incredible already. So let's get into it. So the first thing in here is a pamphlet which tells you a little bit more about each of the items. So I'm going to put that to the side. So thing number one we have are some Jane Austen sticky notes. To give you an idea of how big they are, that's my hand, which is relatively small. And these are incredible. These are from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild, who I love as a company. And that is a sneak preview of the post-its on the back there. I love these quotes. If that was too small for you to read, I will read them here. The pink one says, How often is happiness destroyed by preparation, foolish preparation? The green one said, One cannot have too large a party. The blue one says, You have delighted us long enough. And the yellow one says, thank heavens, I cannot be forced into genius and eloquence. I cannot wait to use these in some upcoming bookish Jane Austen projects that I've got. We then have a tin of tea. This is a new range of tea that they just launched, I believe. So this is a tin of their Regency Rose, which it says is a high elevation Ceylon black tea with rose petals. That sounds really interesting. I'll tuck that away in the tea closet. Ooh, this is exciting. Again, from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. Love them. We have something similar to something I already have, actually. But I don't have this precise one. We have some soap. We have Jane Austen soap. I have the Pride and Prejudice soap, I believe, which is lavender scented, which I still have not used because it's just so precious. This is the Sense and Sensibility soap. I'm sorry, the Suds and Sensibility soap, which it doesn't say exactly what it's scented with. The label is pretty fantastic. Vegetable soap with glycerin to wash the land off the gentry. Shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and essential oil of lavender. The one half of the world cannot understand the lathers of the other. And it also says, let me recommend bath to you. Okay, it is lavender scented. That is lovely. Cannot wait to try that. Oh my gosh, how do they always do this? There is always a book included, and this book is... Praying with Jane by Rachel Dodge, which I actually already have and have already used. I received this as an Easter present in 2019, I believe, 18 or 19. And it is truly wonderful. I don't often use devotionals just because I tend to find them a bit heavy handed and a bit conservative, but I really love this one because Rachel Dodge takes a snippet of one of the prayers that Jane Austen wrote. We have three prayers that we know she wrote during her lifetime. She'll take a sentence or two of one of those, pair it with a biblical quote, and then walk you through 
how to think about both of them and how to pray about both of those ideas that are presented. And I really enjoyed it. So if you are a Jainite and also a Christian looking for a new devotional, I do highly recommend this one. I will, however, be keeping this bookmark because I did not receive this bookmark with my own copy. So this is lovely. It says, a whole family assembling regularly for the purpose of prayer is fine from Mansfield Park. Now, what is this gorgeous thing? Oh my gosh, I think it's a tea towel, but it's beautiful. It's a very fine muslin and it just says, it is as well to have as many holds upon happiness as possible. That is stunning, I love that. This is incredible. This says that it is a book fan. So let's slip this off and see how this works. Gorgeous. It's the same on both sides. Disappointingly, it's not a Jane Austen book. I don't know what book involves characters named Henry and Long Jim, but it's that book on that side and on the other side as well. But that is so pretty. You've even got a little bookmark tag here. I don't know if you're actually supposed to use this to fan yourself. Is this supposed to be decoration? but I do love it. And finally, we have this large box, which has a mug, which I will put down so I don't drop it. A beautiful spode mug in this beautiful blue and white, the lovely pastoral scene, very 18th and 19th century. And the beautiful thing is, it is both dishwasher and microwave safe, according to the bottom. But not only that, there are two other things in the bottom of that box, which are this tiny tea ball shaped like a teapot. There it is. And a lovely dish to put it in when you're done so it doesn't drip all over the table. That is fantastic. I love that so much. Oh, the lid's just come off. And now reading through the pamphlet, I have discovered that the book fan is in fact meant to be used to fan yourself, so that is delightful. They also have some recommended reading. So yes, they recommend Praying with Jane, of course, but they also recommend reading Persuasion this time. I suppose because so much of it does take place in Bath. And then they also include a recipe for Bath buns at the bottom, which is just lovely. It does involve cream and caraway, so I will not be able to make them, but I will hold it up here. So if you would like to make them for yourself, you can pause the video and write down that recipe for yourself. So thank you so much Regency Marketplace for providing us with yet another wonderful box of Austin goodies. I highly recommend everything that comes out of their shop. It is beautiful quality and really well worth the time. I have linked it in the description box down below in case you are interested in subscribing or maybe purchasing a gift for a J night in your life. Now all I want to do is reread Jane Austen and indeed go back to Bath. But until then I have these lovely items to tide me over. Thank you so much for watching and until next time be safe, be well, and happy reading. Bye everyone.